Alright, welcome back. Today we're gonna just talk a little bit about blending before we start actually making everything. So, last time where we were was exactly right here if I don't remember correctly. There was one more uh, function we had and it was the set layer function. Right? That function is good if you only have one object. i rather not do anything crazy with it, but you can think of different ways of using it. But for now, just to show you blending, we're not going to use it, so we're going to remove it. We're going to do a few more things. So first things first, we're going to add a float weight, and we're just going to call it 0F, just to make it easier for the boy. We're going to add one more animation, and what we're going to do is... And we're gonna add a zero and then we're just gonna shift these one by one and now for this animation this one's gonna be called the procedural procedural animation so the third thing we're gonna do is add that frame that we just added so just for the two now why are we doing all this uh, oh and one more thing change the number layers to three so why are we doing all this? Now, when we blend between animations, what blending does is it copies some of the movements of the animation of one object and copies from the other object, and it puts it into a mix. So you don't really retain the original animation. So what procedure is going to be is going to be our default animation which we move everything in and all the other ones are just going to be chilling there. Now there's so many ways of doing this but I'll just show you the lazy easy method way. So uh, we have to blend. Now fortunately we actually have an equation for that. So if we go into main character dot uh, and before I even go into that let's actually talk about the equation itself. It's right here. It's called the lerp layer equation. Now if you read it you'll understand what it is. If you don't, let's just do it. So main character dot lerp layer. Lerping is basically taking a percentage from one point to another and moving from there to there, from one position to another, and giving back that percentage. So in our lerp layer function we got a few arguments here. So one of the first arguments is going to be the destination. So that uh, the answer or that percentage, where should it go? We're going to add it into our zero, which is our default. So that's our procedural one. So that's going to be changed. By default, all your animations are going to be played on zero unless you tell it to play the other ones. We're going to leave it keeping it on zero and we're just going to keep changing zero over and over. Now layer zero would be the original layer that you want to change from. So the from animation, we're going to call that the one animation and the layer one, we're going to call the second animation, which is walk. So we're going to do an, uh, an idle to walk animation. And then the weight is going to be weight. And now let's actually code just a small little thing for weight. Before we do that, let's just do console dot, uh, not console, sorry, log dot message. And we're just going to ask it to show us the weight number. So weight is, and then you do this with a zero, forward slash n, comma, weight. So if you don't know what this is in Unigen, in brackets, tells you that we're going to put an argument in there and then zero means the first argument so if you have like comma five comma whatever comma blah 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 so that's three you can choose number the two the third one on the list so zero one two and it's going to display that so right now we're just going to ask for zero and before we do anything let's actually check this out so now we got everything set up, it's default on idle and our weight is zero. So let's actually start coding the weight. So we're just going to do a simple if, um, I'm just going to do a simple if and it's going to be like V and C to 
switch it between like zero and one just so we can see it different because weight is in percentage one being 100 percent zero being zero percent so let's check it out so input dot is key pressed and then we ask for the key let's do v v is always easy and then we're going to ask for it to increase the weight by a certain amount weight equals to weight plus game dot ifps oops now if you know me you already know the problem and that is this thing is going to go all the way to infinity if we keep holding the v so we need to put it in a certain uh what do we call a certain range and we want the range to be between zero and one so gladly we have something called math lib and then we have something called clamp clamp if we go inside it will tell us everything so first things first let's just talk about clamp clamp basically means the number you have in here the minimum number that you want it to go to and then the maximum number that it will go to so over here we're just going to write 1f over here we're going to write 0f and now it's basically this number is going to return us a number between this and this and it's going to equal it to weight so let's just copy this whole thing control c and then enter and control v this time change the v to a c and instead of plus we just make it minus and now let's check this out all right now that we actually press it we can see that there's a blending between these idle animations so the animation itself is just chilling he's walking a little bit a little bit and as we press it it's going closer to the original jogging animation now if you had a gamepad this is pretty easy you can add a little um, equation to make it so that the first 0.5 actually no it looks very nice consistently it doesn't matter so if you had a gamepad the pressure that you put on the joystick would dictate how much you're going up so we got blending fixed and understood just by looking at it so that's blending the next episode probably is going to be how to make a little state machine. I'm going to make a lazy version. Please don't use it in your professional settings because it's going to be a lot of errors if you do. It's just so I can display and showcase how to do animation switches. Alright? Anyways, that's enough ranting from me. I'll see you all next time. Goodbye.